Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another artist interview. Today we have Christian. Hi, my real name isn't Christian. My real name is Jonas. Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another artist interview. Today we have Chris Yenix. I'm Chris Yenix. My real name is Jonas. I'm from Sweden. I've been making music for 10 plus years now, doing a lot of groovy stuff, big room stuff. So our first question for you today is that your previous Redemption release, Boomerang, is the most streamed release of our catalog currently sending on 180k on Spotify and definitely more on other platforms. So how does it feel and how did you manage to do that? Uh, honestly, I wasn't really prepared for the success. You know, I just found out through getting your guys' promos about your label from the first place. So that's where I found Red Ocean and I sent Boomerang because I thought it would fit. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I did anything special uh, more than just, you know, promoting it as I us usually would. But I think Spotify liked it and you guys made an awesome job as, you know, uh, sharing it and making it pop on social. So I'm hoping we can uh, redo that and up the stakes this time. Go for 200k or more. <laughs> 200k. <Hey. laughs> yeah, well, let's get to another question. What vibe did you want to go for when creating Triumph? And how do you came up with like combining epic, ethnic sound with like modern style? The funny story about Triumph is that I was actually hanging out with a friend from my class that was interested in like making EDM or just the kind of music that I make. I literally sat next to my friend and I was like, well, let me show you what I do. And then I randomly hit my MIDI keyboard and just came up with a melody or rhythm for, for a Triumph. If I should be answering the question more correctly, I like the kind of Tiesto slap house sound, but I feel like it's a bit outdated and I want to do it in my style where I've always come from a bit more big groovy, groovy sound. Like I've been a huge fan of Danik for the longest time. I tried to just, you know, take that and make it my sound. Add a bit of future rave-ish things, you know, to the second drop, especially. And and just try to keep it modern. So I assume that Tiesto is one of your uh, biggest idols in music production, or do you have other people which you look up to? Danik, uh, for sure, uh, was like one of the biggest reasons why I started making music. Hardwell was definitely uh, one of them. Tiesto's become more uh, in the later days, uh, become more interested in the sound, you know, always been there as obviously one of the biggest names and always be an inspiration for what he's done in the music he's released. Now I'd definitely say guys like Hardwell, Danik, Swedish House Mafia, Avicii, Alessa, all these Swedish guys as well, of course, yeah, of being course. from Sweden and everything, you know. My track, Triumph, is out right now on Red Ocean Recordings. Uh, it's out on all streaming platforms. I hope you guys like it. It should be a banger on every dance floor you'll ever listen to. So, I mean, yeah. Go listen to it and uh, see you guys in the next episode of these artist interviews.